What is up, everybody? I am Mace from the Market Buster YouTube channel, and today's gonna be a special hunt because usually I go to Walmart, I go to Best Buys, I go to the Sunrise Records, Cinema Ones, but you know, I started this channel on thrift hunts. So today, we're gonna go to a Valley Village, maybe a Salvation Army, maybe a Goodwill, see what physical media they've got, because I know there'll probably be slim pickings for Blu-rays, but recently I've been getting into DVD collecting, not because of the movie, but mainly because of the special features that it comes with is so much more than Blu-rays and 4Ks. So let's see if we can find any cool DVDs, Blu-rays, or maybe even 4K, I don't know, some have popped up here and there. So let's go, let's see what we can find, and uh, Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's go! Let's do this! All right, first stop of the day. Well, technically, it's, it's technically night, but it's 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 the winter time, so it's, it's 6 p.m., but it's pretty dark. We're here at a Goodwill. I haven't been in a Goodwill in a very long time, and it, look, it looks different. It looks, like, clean and neat. But their physical media section's right there, so let's check it out. Six feet apart alley. There's their book section. But we're not here for books. We're here for physical media they have a cd section and they have a dvd and blu-ray section i saw one thing that looked intriguing hollywood classic special edition the golden age of sil the silver screen life with father that's pretty cool 49 for a box set that's not bad. oh yes i can finally complete I was kind of scared that this would sell out, but I have the first two box sets on DVD. Now I have the third. That's crazy. What is this? This comes with any cool bonus features. One just a new widescreen version, isolated score, deleted scenes. There's no feature. Yet. Look at this, Ellie. Found the last one. Oh. Here's the whole thing. Sure. Thank you, thank you. Does it have anything in it? I haven't checked yet, but. Rest of development. It comes with this nice little slip. It's a spoiler. Wow, who knew? In the... Batter Santa. Yeah, what is this? Six feet under the complete first season. I don't know, TV shows, I guess. Let's have some Blu rays here. Adventureland. A sealed copy. For $3, sealed copy of The Fate of the Furious. And I got this too. It's a deep rookie blue. They have a sealed copy of uh, The Departed. I already have that. Oh, let's see that. Look at that. Blockbuster sticker on it. That's cool. That's funny. I have the barcode scan. That's cool. Then we got CDs here. Oh, oh, it's inside out. What is this? Fallout Boy? Anyways. Boom. We already made a success. There's some more, there's more Blu rays here. The Hangover. Downton Abbey. I had the only good season the first season. 17 again. Julia Julia. Hungry Games. Tower's Life. Second season. These are on Netflix, so they're, they're on 4K. Breaking Bad. It comes with a nice little slip, but that's kind of dirty. And every staple of the thrift store is Dark Knight. There's a lot of TV show box sets. I guess maybe they poured these onto a... Uh... Ooh, what is this? It's a uh, DVD box set of the... Matrix Revisited. It was like a documentary. This might be a cop. No, I already have it on DVD. I just wanted to see those VHSs. This just came out on 4K. Anyways, I think that's, that's about everything. Yeah. Is there any cool 
What is this? Vice, the guide to travel. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know they made DVDs. Got some classic Hollywood stuff. Besides that, this has been a successful, uh, successful hunt. Now let's go to the next location. Apparently, I'm five foot two. Five foot two. We're out. We got actually a couple good stuff. Now we're on to the next stop. I don't know where that is, but uh, you'll soon find out. So on to a good start. Well, right next is Goodwill is a Dollar Tree. I know mid-level media shops here a lot for like generic random Blu-rays. So hopefully there's some cool stuff in here. There's all the books I got. It's a pretty good book reading. What the heck? I'd buy this if I was a kid. Why didn't I have this stuff when we were kids? Anyways, let's see if we can find the media section. I guess uh, I guess uh, this is like an American thing with with Dollar Trees and DVDs and stuff. Cause I can't I can't find anything. But uh, all right. I don't want to waste too many too much time here. It's probably somewhere, but as far as like a maze. But uh, yeah, this is kind of a bummer. But anyways, let's get to our next uh, thrift store and see if we can find anything cool. We got this thing for videos, right? Yeah. Are you gonna paint it or put like a black thing over it? No, no, just white. Okay. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. All right. We're out of the Dollar Tree. Uh, yeah. Apparently, it is an American thing. They didn't have any. Um, any DVDs or Blu-rays there, which is kind of sad, because I know that's like a really big thing on the other side, but what are you gonna do? Okay, after the bummer that was uh, Dollar, what's it called, Dollar General? Dollar Tree? Tree? Yeah. We're here at Toitsi. This is a Canadian exclusive, right? Maybe. I think so, but uh, anyways. I've got some some good gems here. I got that uh, that box of Indiana Jones yeah. here, so for like, for like five bucks, so hopefully. Oh, that's from here? Yeah, so hopefully we can find some good gems. I've never seen the sports game. That, that Cheaper when it was uh, bought used compared to buying it. The game used. price, yeah. Yeah, they kept both the game prices on the disc. I think, uh, yeah, so let's check this out and see. Has 150 people ever been? <laughs> okay, now we're reaching up the video game section. Anything cool here? Sports games at the wall. Ooh, that's pretty cool. This PC copy of Battlefield 2. Remember when Battlefield was good? Oh, the days. The good old days books a lot of books this is what i want to see the physical media section but they have a blu-ray section right here they even got some stuff with slip covers a lot of hunger games i'm seeing cowboys and aliens i picked it up i wanted to see this ultimate two disc edition for $4.99, oh, with a slip cover. It's such a shitty movie, but 28 weeks later, I want 28 days later on Blu-ray. But I heard the uh, Prison Break. Oh, these are like like rental store discs. Yes, Clash of Titans, Narnia. What is this? Dark Knight, Fault in Our Stars. Dolphin Tail 2? I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, that's a great and wise. Jurassic Park 3. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Bounty Killer. What is this? Sherlock Holmes. See, a lot of these are some good, but like for $4.99. Gotta kind of be picky with these, these uh, titles. At World's End. Look at this. Look at this Blu-ray. Oh my god, look how thin this is. <laughs> Yeah, Free Willy, Escape from Pirate's Cove, the Spongebob movie, Act of Valor, uh, I don't really like modern day movie, uh, modern day war movies, this is just an Us on DVD, that's a pretty newer movie, Sports Center Year in Review, what is what? Please. Please, yeah. What's this? Man of Steel. Oh, but there's no artwork on it. But that would be worth it. this? Iron Maiden VHS tape? See, I would get that, but it's just. Oh, wow, what is this? Pleasant Goat and Big What? Big Wolf. Uh, anything cool in the DVD sections? 
Cantonese, Mandarin, traditional, and simplified Chinese English in 2009. Here, hold it for me a second. Yes. Yeah. I just watched this movie on uh, on this uh, streaming service called Haya, and that's a pretty good movie. Flashpoint. How much is it? Three ninety nine. Yeah, I'd get it for three ninety nine. Uh oh, loose disc. And it comes with special features. Wow. Now, do I want to? Do I want to risk it with the? Ah, shoot. What do you think, Ali? Normal price for Blu-ray is is like five bucks, and it's a movie I'm actually interested in watching. So, take that back, please. Children of Men, the Missing. What is it? PC game? Yeah, uh, not really much stuff here, except for Wolverine. But that'd just be to complete my X-Men collection. Ew, look weird. Anyways, I think I'm just gonna go with Cowboys and Aliens because I've been really interested in watching this movie for 4 dollars It's not the best price, but it's not the worst. So that's usually how much I'd pay for used Blu-rays. So boom. Look at all these copies of, what is this? It's a concert. Oh, I feel bad for this lady, Holly McNarland. Maybe it bops. You think it's you think it's a uh, pure fire? Alright. Here's another seal triple Matt Damon triple feature. Matt Damon triple feature. What is it? Courage under fire, stuck on you, tight knee. No, no idea of those. But this is the other section of the of the DVDs. Nothing too insane. A lot of couple copies of Battlefield 2, I wonder why. But uh I wanted to see if they had any like obscure What's this? uh like this, uh, martial arts films. Like a, I know it's what the quadraphonic, eight track, eight track, yeah. Anyways, I think that'll do it for here. I was looking for some martial arts films, but it uh, seems like there's not much of a. Oh, what the hell is this? It's like a. Wow, I don't think this is I don't think this is a bootleg too, because this looks legit. That's pretty dope. What do you think about this? Oh, my bar is gone, but that looks pretty cool. So it's like an import from I don't know where what language is that? Japanese, Korean? Japanese? Korean? Anyways. Oh that's a good find. Sleepaway Camp 2. Uh but yeah, I think that'll do it for this location. Until I find something else, but yeah, uh Yep. Boom, Cowboys and Aliens, 499. Okay, uh, no, there's not even that many people in the gym. I don't get it. But anyways, uh, we're here at a Salvation Army. There's like so much parking. But there's so many people, par I think they're parked. Oh, you know why? There's housing on top. Yeah, there's housing. There's uh, a lot of like uh, businesses on top. So maybe that's why. But yeah, this parking lot is full. But when you look inside the stores, there's it's like deserted, so. We almost got into a, watch out, black ice. Yeah, Salvation Army. Whoa, look at this flat screen TV. Also, I don't know where this came from. It was salt or wherever, I don't know. We got the media section. We got records. We got CDs. We got a wall of movies. A lot of, a lot of DVDs, a lot of, oh, we got some PS, some PS3 games. That can't be the price for this. 40, no. Eureka, season one. Oh, like all the Saw movies, eh? Saw four. I like the this, this disc, the, the disc covers though, or the cases. That's pretty cool. And Saw the Unconditioned. I have this on Blu-ray, so I don't really need that. I know there's a 4K out there, but who's gonna want that? But, uh, any Blu-rays? And that's the main thing you'll find. You'll find. Oh, look! Even this place had the entire set oh, wow. of the. I guess some people gave it away because they got the 4K set, but like the 4K set barely came with anything. Look at all these Twilights. Twilight. Oh, 
unbiased prequels. The Sansa, ooh! Criterion Collection of the Sounds of the Lambs. Ooh, very nice. I might just get it because it's Criterion. I have the Kino Lobra 4K, but. Oh, dude, I'm gonna just get it because it looks it'll look nice on my shelf. Criterion. So you got Mad Max. Now I'm putting a lot of a lot of uh because a lot of these aren't minty, but you just never know because I had this really scratched up DVD that I knew wasn't gonna play. And then all of a sudden it starts playing, so Hitman's Bodyguard of a freaking fake DVD. A lot of fake DVDs here too, so I don't see any Blu-rays, but that's cool. A criterion collection of a, a Silence of the Lambs. It's not very often you see that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna look around and see if I can find anything else in here. If not, then whatever. But I'm not, I'm not seeing any Blu-rays. So I'm gonna peruse through here. If I can find anything cool, then yeah, but if not, on to the next location. So I found the only Blu-ray in here and it's called The Master. Uh, it's a Paul Thomas Anderson movie starring Joaquin Phoenix, Philip Seymour Hoffman, and Amy, Amy Adams. So that sounds very promising. I'll pick that up as well. Is that, is that an older uh, Blu-ray? Oh, is it for like a library? What the hell? Chimpanzee. Home use only. That's funny. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Some pretty good stuff here. So my brother here found more Blu-rays. And it's RoboCop and the Scream 3. I don't know how many, I don't know how much stuff uh, goes for here. I don't know if there's like a price set here, but oh. There is prices, but uh, I might pick that up. But I feel like I can just save and get like a whole set of screen movies because I got the first one on 4K. But uh, anyways, yeah. all right, and uh, it seems like we're getting a run of success because I got a, a PTA movie and a, and a Criterion. Even though it's a DVD, it's still cool. But yeah, Shazam! Now we're off to a uh, Valley Village, probably the last stop, but uh, who knows? Anyways, see you guys on the trail. Value Village, the place with the worst prices, but the best selection. So let's see if hopefully they got anything cool there. Uh, but yeah, I got a couple Blu-rays here last time. So got a giant Pikachu, got a giant Pikachu here too. Oh, yeah, last so time we got, came here, it was October. Yeah, last time we came here was October of last year. Oh, so let's see if they got anything cool. Closing up on the book section. Right across from the book section is actually the DVDs and Blu-rays. But uh, we can see a little sneak peek of what's to come here. Oh, the movie it. So here are the Blu-rays. Uh, Avatar. The complete Rambo collection for 10 bucks. Why didn't I see this earlier? And they're the same discs. Wow. Damn. I spent like 30 bucks completing the entire collection, but Patton, George C. Scott, $5.99. Not a bad deal. Get that. Uh, but nothing, Night Museum, I really don't care for. x -Men, I already have the whole thing, but. Yeah. We even got some DVDs up here. I think these are like the kitty. DVDs. Let's see if they got anything else. But yeah, that's pretty good. Five nine nine for Patton on Blu-ray. But uh, yeah, well, this is all our DVDs. Yeah, but as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. What is this? Little Mermaid sealed. Five nine nine. That's actually pretty expensive, $5.99. But it's like a three hour movie, so maybe. Oh, it's also the location, this. It's like deluxe edition of Batman Begins. The worst fucking movie ever in the name of the king. Heart to heart. Um, Cool that pops up. 
I'm hoping to see some like martial arts films or like those kind of things. But uh, I mean, you're always gonna find your Spider-Mans. I found this. Patton, uh, Pearl Harbor. I like this set, but it's, it's a terrible movie. And it's not the 60th anniversary of the movie. It's the 60th anniversary of uh, the, game, uh, the uh, event. But, uh, yeah, uh, nothing really too special. A lot of normie stuff. But I'm going to do some perusing. I'll leave you here. If I pick up something cool, I'll let you know. All right, that was a bit of a bust. Uh, usually there's a lot more stuff. Seems like they downsized a bit. A lot of people bought some stuff. Again, I haven't been here since October, but uh, yeah, nothing too cool. Uh, I saw Patton there for Blu-ray, but that was like six bucks. And that's a bit too much for my opinion. So I let that pass. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll find something else. But if not, uh, I'll see you guys at home with the haul. All right, last stop of the day. Value Village, the last Value Village. Yeah, closes in 15 minutes. Closes in 15 minutes. We gotta be quick, quick Roonies. Yeah. Um, I don't have that many high hopes, but you know, it's worth the looky because you know, it's, it's nearby anyway, so might as well check it out. The lights are getting dim. Nine. Nine p.m. and it is 8.47, so. Ah, fuck. Anyways, let's check this out. Somewhere already there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's very cool. Ten bucks though. The Game of Thrones complete third season. You can. No, but it's ten bucks. And I'm not that big of a fan of it, so I don't know if I want it. I think I'll pass on this, but that's a cool. It's cool find, 10 bucks for Game of Thrones on Blu-ray. It's not bad at all. But we got more DVDs, nothing too special. I was hoping this would be the uh, Criterion edition, but it's not. Uh, Let's look at these Blu-rays. The Americans. Cowboys and Aliens. Ender's Game. New Year's Eve. Day the Earth Stood Still with Keanu Reeves. Yeah. That's what's a remake, so. Death Race. I got all these though. What is this? Black sails. Oh, there's something in a slipcase. What is this? Cinemax is season two of Strike Back. I've never heard of this show before or miniseries or whatever. But, uh, Ocean's Eight. Oh, that's the female remake. League of Extraordinary. There's a lot of these, uh, Best, but uh, yeah, nothing, nothing too cool here. Waiting for Superman. I guess it's a documentary. I think. Games World Records, Gamer Edition. You got all these uh things. This was supposed to come out on 4K today, but we never got it here in Canada. Uh, but yeah, uh, nothing. Nothing cool here. Nothing good at this location. I'm tempted. Should I pick these? No, but it's just 10 bucks a pop. It'd only be worth it if I was reselling it, but I don't, know, I don't plan on. All right. Let's get toys. But yeah, that was it. And we are back in the safety and security of our homes. A good little chunk of thrifting done. Didn't spend that much money and got a few, uh, got a, quite a few good stuff. Uh, so the first location I went to was Goodwill and uh, I picked up the Matrix Revisited on DVD. Now, unfortunately, I got this because I didn't think that the 
4K uh, came with that many bonus features, but surprisingly, it does come with quite a few bonus features, and The Matrix Revisited is one of those bonus features, so uh, I feel pretty dumb picking this up, but hey, at least I have a cool little case of uh, Matrix Revisited. And, uh, I mean, I'm a big, I'm a pretty big Matrix fan. I recently just got into it, and wow, I, I watched it three times in the span of a week. I saw the entire trilogy, uh, and uh, I just want to say that the second movie is actually pretty good. Uh, it's less philosophical, more, you know, action, kung fu, uh, martial arts stuff with, like, bladed weapons and stuff, uh, you know, uh, and it's pretty good. Uh, the third one, not so much. It still has some good action scenes, though. But, uh, yeah, and I even watched the new one, uh, Resurrection. That was a... I did not like that movie. It was pretty boring. But uh, yeah, so uh, Matrix uh, Revisited. It was a two-pack with The Matrix and Matrix Revisited. But I don't really need the DVD. Uh, I like the movie DVD. So thankfully I have this. Uh, but yeah, it's okay. At least I have the, uh, like a case for it. I don't know. <laughs> and then next I got from that location was the Lord of the Rings Return of the King DVD uh, Extended Edition box set. Uh, now, I'm planning on getting this on 4K, and I already have a digital HD uh, thing on my Google Play account. But, uh, you know, it doesn't come... Like, Google Play, when you get movies, like, digital codes, and um, if it's on Google Play, it doesn't come with any of the bonus features. That's why I like uh, using iTunes when I uh, re redeem my digital codes, because I'm able to just lie down in bed or something and watch some bonus features, some special... Uh, special uh, additions whatever if i have that and then i get the bonus features i'll be able to just relax in bed or something and uh i don't have to worry about going downstairs and popping the disc to watch some stuff some movie related stuff but uh yeah uh because i wanted to get the 4k soon uh but i realized that didn't come with the extra bonus features that i want those juicy bonus features because uh i'm really interested in how these were made and um I was kind of sad because I know people were holding out for the uh, Middle Earth set, the whole Hobbit and uh, Lord of the Rings 4K set, but that didn't come with that many bonus features. Uh, maybe because contract agreements, copyright things, you never know. But thankfully, I have these uh, old ass DVDs with the bonus features, and it actually concludes my entire collection of uh, of the uh, Lord of the Rings extended cuts on a DVD. I got these at the same location, and I, I think I left this behind, but you know what? I was like, you know what? I'll pick it up. Uh, the discs for the movie is pretty scratched up, but the bonus features have, are pretty minty. They haven't been touched. Same with these ones, so I'm very excited. Uh, I'm not going to get into these now, but when I get them on 4K and I rediscover them and rewatch them in 4K, uh, I'll be excited to pop out these DVDs and watch the bonus features on that. And then I uh, went to a couple of Valley Villages, nothing there. Uh, you know, in America, they have uh, movies at, uh, what is it called, Dollar Tree. Uh, I asked the guy at the front desk, they didn't have any movies there. So that kind of sucks. But then I went to a Salvation Army, and that's when my prayers were answered. Because, oh boy, we hit the jackpot. And uh, we got a Criterion Collection DVD. Now, I popped this in... Um, and it's pretty lackluster, actually. Uh, special features are okay. It's just uh, the ones that I'm excited for weren't really bonus features. It was just like texts. Like it weren't. It wasn't a video bonus feature. It was just texts. Like there was like interviewing a murderer on different subjects, and it was just texts. So that wasn't uh, that cool. But it's complete with the DVD and the booklet. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna give that a read through. And this is a pretty old uh, uh, DVD. This is from 1998, Orion Home Video, Dolby Digital Audio. It's really cool. A joint venture with Janus Films. And I'm really excited. This is my first Criterion, technically. And I got it for like a dollar. So, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. That's the main reason why I just picked this up in, in the first place, because it's a Criterion. Um, and it was hella cheap. And it's like a uh, it's like a figment of time. Like, wow, look, look what uh, things look like. You still get back then. But I do have this on Blu-ray. And I also have this on the Kino Lorber 4K. So I won't be watching the movie particularly. But it's nice to have like this Criterion Collection case. And I looked at the transfer and it's actually really bad. Like it's really fuzzy and soft and like really bad. And the aspect ratio is like very small because it's a DVD. But uh, I mean it looks cool. <laughs> and then I got this... Uh, 
And then I got this blue right here. It's the special edition of The Master uh, by Paul Thomas Anderson. Uh, my friend's been telling me that he really likes Paul Thomas Anderson. I've been meaning to get into more of his films. So it's kind of a, uh, you know, um, a, you know, a trinity of, you know, like I wanted to watch it. My friend been telling me to watch it and I found this for really cheap. And I mean, look at the stars, Joaquin Phoenix, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman and Amy Adams. Like these are some great actors, PTA movie, a special edition. And I got it for super cheap. And the premise looks pretty good. Some pretty good uh, bonus features. I know nothing about this film, but it seems really good. I love me some Joaquin Phoenix, Phoenix and Philip Seymour Hoffman. So that will be really interesting to get into. And uh, yeah, so that was the other movie. And the last movie of the day was I went to Tallitzi and I got Cowboys and Aliens. Uh, I've been interested in this movie. Uh, I've been re-watching the Daniel Craig, uh, Daniel Craig's action movies. Like I watched Lair Cake and I've seen the James Bond films and I really like those movies. And just like, like Daniel Craig has a very prominent, uh, you know, like visual when he's, when he's on camera, he like, you know, extracts your attention. So I'm excited to see that. And Harrison Ford, like I heard this was a pretty underrated film because a lot of people were like turned off by the idea of cowboys and aliens, but I heard it's actually pretty good and it's the extended edition. So I don't know what that includes. But uh, yeah, those are all the pickups of the uh, thrifting haul. Thank you so much for watching another video of mine. If you enjoyed this hunt and you would like to see more hunts, click the banner. I have a whole video, a whole playlist of hunting and Blu-ray um, videos. I also have a thrifting, uh, thrifting uh, playlist and all that stuff, flea market playlists. So if you want to see my hunts throughout the year. Uh, please make sure to stay tuned because I do have a bunch more hunts and 4K reviews. If you're into reviews of 4K Blu-rays, please make sure to stay to subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll know when I upload a lot of content coming soon. And I just want to say thank you for all those who have subscribed to me up until this point. I really appreciate it and it just brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching another video of mine. I am Mason from the Mockbuster YouTube channel. Please have a good day, night, evening, afternoon, whenever you watch this. Please stay safe and uh, subscribe. <laughs> Cheers.